Okay, Excel lesson four deals with formatting the worksheet. So first thing we want to do here, we want to choose theme. So we're going to go to page layout, go to themes, and then we have our list of themes here. And if you scroll down, you'll have some more. All right, so on this one here, we're just going to go through and we'll just click on dividend theme for now. All right, so we have our theme. Go through, and we'll see nothing's truncated. Sometimes when you change the themes, things will get truncated, some of your text. So auto fit, you just double click between your column headings. So just like in Access and some things that we could do there for auto fitting, you can click and drag, or you can double click between your column headings and it'll auto fit the columns for you. Now, if you wanted a little more space then you could always just drag them a little wider if you would like to. Alright, we're going to select B2 to F2 so B2 through F2. So to do this you click on B2 and continue to hold the mouse button down and drag across through F2. Okay, so click on B2, hold the mouse button down and drag across to F2 and then let go. Alright, here we want a yellow background so we're gonna go home, we're gonna go to our fill color hit the drop arrow. It says yellow but if you wanted to use a different color um, you could do that. Okay, your theme colors are up here so if it says um, blue gray accent 6 lighter 80% so anytime you see colors that have a percentage sign next to them it's dealing with the theme colors. Now if it just says it wants orange then you just come down to your standard colors, click orange and you have that there. Alright, okay the next thing we're going to go to F13. We're just going to apply, we'll apply the same color orange down here. So we just click this since it's already our current selected color. Your current color is always shown here. Just like this red underline means your text would be red. So we're going to go automatic to black and then now it's black underneath. So that's your current color you have selected. So if it has the correct color you don't have to hit the drop arrow. Okay, applying cell styles we want to select B4 to F4. So B4 to F4. Okay, your cell styles are over here. So you want to hit the more button. You have normal, bad, good, neutral, date and model, tiles and heading styles, and then cell styles and then some other styles down here. So I have multiple um, types of styles. So on this one here we're going to choose 60% um, accent 2. It's kind of ugly but that's what we're going to use. And then we're going to select E13 to F13 and then we want to apply the total style because we're dealing with totals down here. So hit the more button again and then we want the total style. Click on this and then it gives us our double underline as you would see in accounting. Okay, you see weekly total is now truncated. Number sold right here is truncated. So maybe we just double click to auto fit between your column headings up top. You have to be between your letters, not down here. You should have a double headed arrow. Alright. Okay, the next thing, plan your font formats. Okay, we're not going to spend much time on this because everybody should know how to do this by now. Font face, font size, bold italic underliner here, and then your font colors here. So we're not going to actually go through that. Okay, we want to select B2 through F2 again. So again, just click, hold down the mouse button, drag it across to F2. And we want this tile to be centered over all our information here. So we come to merge and center and you're going to use this a lot all the way through Excel so merge and center and you'll notice that now this entire cell is only B2 C2, D2, F2 those aren't there any longer because when you merge them together it becomes one cell alright from here the next thing we want to do uh, since it's a title we're just going to make it a little larger just give you an idea okay so we have that okay now applying number formats 
we're going to click F5. Okay, and we want currency. Okay, you'll notice you have accounting format and you also have a currency format. Alright, so a currency format puts a dollar sign next to the numbers. Your accounting format is going to put the dollar sign all the way to the left of your numbers. So you have to pay attention because this is an easy way to lose points. So when you see your dollar signs, you got to pay attention. Is it currency or is it accounting? So you've got to pay attention to that because there is a difference in the way it's formatted. Okay, so we're going to select this whole range here. So select all of these. And then we're just going to make them currency. So hit the drop arrow for currency, and they're all changed to currency. So just like you selected this here, hold down on the mouse, drag all the way down. And when you select your cells, you want to make sure that you have the white crosshair in the middle. Because if you click on the edge and try to drag across, then you might actually move your data. So always make sure you have the white crosshair in the middle somewhere, and then drag down to select or across. Alright, the next thing, we're going to select F6 to F13, which we have selected right now. Okay, if you didn't want to show any decimals, then right here, you have increased decimal and then decreased decimal. Okay, so we're going to change it to accounting. Increase decimal, we'll increase your decimals, decrease decimal. We'll just round it up to the nearest dollar. So you have that option there. Alright. And that is it for lesson number four.